Mental health to me is the social, emotional, and psychological well-being of a person. I had the coronavirus and ever since my life has been affected. Coronavirus has uh, affected my life economically, physical, and mentally. It has been very unsettling. To me personally, um, the isolation, the staying at home was very depressing. During the COVID-19 situation, I personally feel worried, scared, live under fear. But for how long shall I continue living in that situation? Being in lockdown gave me an opportunity to consider and commit to my meaningful values and goals. Being able to share my feelings and frustrations with my close friends and family made me feel supported and so much love. The biggest thing that was a plus that I saw is that among the refugee community, the youth were able to channel all this negative energy into good use. There are some things which I never used to do before. I never used to do meditations. So now I, I do a lot of meditation so that I can calm down in my mind. Mentally, I do things like uh, dancing to music. As soon as the coronavirus uh, pandemic is over, I would like to immediately travel, travel to places and especially travel. The first place I'd like to visit is Nairobi to see my siblings. After COVID, I'm looking forward to freely visit my friends. Now when the coronavirus is over, I'll have to visit my family in Kenya so that I'll have to stay with them for some time. Moving on, once everything is done, I just want to go on a vacation with my family just to relax and be free. Today on World Mental Health Day, I would like to say you matter. Your mental health matters. Use your voice to call on governments around the world to invest in, to empower and educate on mental health for all. You are born to be incredible. Believe it and never look back.